Welcome to The Real Deal with Jason Silverman, the podcast dedicated to helping you build the business of your dreams and live the life you always hoped for, with valuable and fun tips and info to make your life easier and more fun. And now, here's your host, a man who sprinkles metal shavings on his breakfast cereal just for fun, Jason Silverman. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Real Deal with Jason Silverman. I'm your host, Jason Silverman, and I'm thrilled to share some time with you again today. Folks, I am thrilled to say this is my very first podcast in our brand new home. I'm actually recording this from my wife's office as I've been living amongst the boxes and uh, have not yet picked up a new desk for my office. So all I've got are a bunch of brown boxes in my office, so hers is nicely decorated, so that's where I am today. In any case... um, I appreciate you guys sticking with me through the move. It was uh, kind of crazy, uh, but we're uh, we're coming out on the other side, so that's great. In any case, when I uh, when I looked at my calendar this morning, you know, I was, I was super excited as I usually am on the mornings that I get the opportunity to speak with somebody who's really, really smart and and more importantly, really great at relaying their wisdom to others. So, as many of you know, I tend to focus on topics here at The Real Deal that I'm personally interested in, and I'm ultra interested in today's guest experience. So, in my search to continually bring both interesting as well as super beneficial guests, today's show is spot on and right on par. I want to introduce my listeners to somebody who plays the game full out, has been there and done that, and most importantly, has the ability to help others to successfully follow in his footsteps. Now, for the folks who I work with in any of my coaching programs, mastermind groups, or through Powerful Words Character Development, All-Star Cheer Sites, or Dance Sites Done Right, you know how much I focus on the importance of leveraging the power of the mastermind principle, right? Well, the show is going to help us to do just that. So today, it's going to be my honor and privilege to share an amazing resource with you. You're going to love today's guest. He's got a ton of valuable info to help you succeed as well as a uh, fun way to deliver it. So I want you to strap yourself in. Today's show is going to be awesome. Alrighty, boys and girls, it is now that time. Stop surfing Facebook, put away your phone, your tablet, your dog, your cat, your spouse, your child, or anything else that might possibly distract you from today's show. You're about to get some great and immediately implementable information, and I don't want you to miss even a second. So before we officially get going, I want to give you a little bit of background about our guest. David Hooper is a marketing expert, author, and radio host based in Nashville, Tennessee. He helps companies to sell more products and make more social impact through a combination of guerrilla and traditional marketing. And an all-around cool guy. So, David, welcome to The Real Deal. I'm thrilled to have you today. Thank you, Jason. Glad to be here. Awesome, awesome. Hey, before we get started, for those who haven't had the opportunity and pleasure of meeting you or hearing you speak or, or reading any of your stuff, take a second, share your story with my listeners, would you? you know, what are you passionate about? What makes you tick? Who is David Hooper? I'm passionate about people with a message, and that started because my career started not only in business, but just as a messenger, I guess is when it really started, when I was a musician myself. But growing up in Nashville, music is what we do. I started out as a musician and later transitioned to the music business. And because music was at the forefront of digital technology, and we were downloading music before we were doing anything with books, film, television, I was at the forefront with it and started working with authors, so kind of the same thing. Anybody with a message, just a little different medium there, different product, and that's what I'm really passionate about. If you've got a musician situation where you've got music you want to get out there, if you've got the cure for cancer, I want to help you get it out there. If you're passionate about some kind of social situation, I'm going to help you get it out there, or in this case, what we'll be talking about, business. Fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. Well... This is going to be great. So I want to dive right into it because there's a ton I want to talk to you about. So for those who aren't yet indoctrinated into this world, tell me this. What's a mastermind? Mastermind, Napoleon Hill, I think, said it best. And this is really how the mastermind principle became popular. It probably was around a long time ago. I think of masterminds, honestly, as any time... People are getting together, and that could be a church group, it could be Alcoholics Anonymous, Weight Watchers, I'm in a Toastmasters group, for example. Those are all mastermind groups. But Napoleon Hill says that it's any time two or more like-minded individuals come together for a definitive purpose. So it could be you and me on this call, for example. But that's, that's more or less what it is. It's any, any kind of group where you're all going in the same direction. 
Got it. Got it. Got it. Well, you know, this, this, I hear this a lot, and I've actually said it um, a bunch of times this summer at some of the presentations I spoke at, but we say this a lot. Why do you? Why? Why is it ideal to be the dumbest person in the room? <laughs> well, I'll take it back to my musician days, and that's really where I learned that lesson. When you're the best guitar player in the world, there's nowhere to go. You can certainly learn from the guys that aren't as good as you, but you'll have more improvement by being the guy who's not as good, like me with Eddie Van Halen. For example, I'm going to learn more from him than he's probably going to learn from me. Although you can each learn from each other. And I think the same way with business. I'm there to learn. I'm there to grow. I want to give value, certainly, but I don't want to be the guy that everybody's coming to. Then it's more of a one-sided conversation where everybody's coming to you for answers and you can't really get the help you need. Or the things that they've been through are things you've already dealt with. So I like to be on that learning end. They're just more to absorb. Fabulous. You know, when we talk about masterminds, or at least when I, when I speak about masterminds, I talk about you know the need for there to be all sorts of different types of people in a group. Um, do me a favor, just for a second, what have you found to be ideal as far as like a nice mixture of people? Because obviously, if everybody's type A in there, it's it's going to be like a, a speed convention, right? <laughs> yeah, I think everybody has to respect each other in there. And that's why with all my masterminds, we have a specific format that we have where some people get to talk, some people, it's their turn to listen. You have to watch out for the, the type A's. And the business masterminds, they seem to attract that. We're all out there going for it. We're all in sales. We're all trying to get the money to come in. So it can happen like that. Also, just because like attracts like, and we hang out with people that are just like us. Think about the high school cafeteria. Well, who do you sit with? Well, if you're a jock, you're going to sit with the jocks. If you're a cheerleader, you're with the cheerleader. If you're a dork, you're going to sit with the dorks. And we subdivide ourselves in any number of ways. And we still do it. You look at your neighborhood, it's probably people that are just like you. Masterminds can be the same way. And I think that is the reason why you want a lot of diversity because everybody's got different experiences and they're living and they're working in a different way that you are and they're experiencing things and doing things in a different way that you are. So it's important to realize that the bubble that you're in is not the only bubble that exists. If you look at my blog, bigboldimpact.com, every Monday I will look at a different, different industry and I'll teach you how to take what that industry is doing and use it in your industry. For example, Henry Ford, Henry Ford gets a lot of credit for the assembly line, but he didn't invent the assembly line. He got the idea out of a pork processing plant. He saw how pork was made, how sausage gets made. That's how the saying is, right? And he said, well, you know, if they're doing sausage like this, it's an assembly line, it might work on cars. And that's exactly why you want to have diversity within the groups and the people that you hang out with. I love that. I love that answer. You know, I work with so many folks in the after-school activity world, um, and I've had people say, well, you know, I don't want to be in that group. It's full of uh, cheer gym owners. It's full of martial artists, or it's full of whoever. And I said, you know, guys, it's, it's, you're going to learn more from them than you will from people just like you. So mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's fabulous. Where, where do you feel like people can find a mastermind if they're not already a part of one? Well, I think that if you're looking for diversity, if you'll go into different types of groups, for example, meetup.com, let's say you've got your your type of business, you're in an after-school activities business, well, you would go and, and look at maybe an SEO meetup or maybe a computer programming meetup or other people that are like-minded and that maybe they're entrepreneurs, they own their own business, maybe a multi-level marketing guy. You're going to find people that are sort of similar but a little bit different. It's like you're on parallel universes, if, if you will, where they're experiencing something different, but you're sort of going in the same direction. That would be the first place that I would start. Although you could go on internet, message boards, forums, and look up things of that nature, the, the multi-level guys, the sales guys, the after-school activities people, or something that would be similar. Maybe after-school activities, for example, if you're into, let's say, like karate, kind of martial arts, sort of a, a gym type situation, maybe you could learn something from a regular I've got dumbbells and, and barbells type gym. Something similar, but it's a little bit different. Maybe how they're doing billing is something different. And, and, and that's, that's basically why I would start. I, I would just start 
digging in, really, you can't make a mistake. You're either going to know that it's not working for you or you're going to get pushed a little bit closer to the right direction that you want to go in. Makes sense. Makes sense. You know, I, I've heard about your core elements, or in, I've heard about the primary core elements of a successful mastermind. Would you mind sharing those just so folks know, number one, what to look for, and number two, how to set the bar high? <laughs> the, well, Napoleon Hill, and, and I should have mentioned this earlier, the book is called Think and Grow Rich. Fantastic book. There's some great versions of it on Amazon. There's some audiobook versions of it on audible.com. It's been in the public domain for a long time. You should be able to find one for maybe $10. And this is where most of the modern day mastermind concepts come from. He suggests five to seven people. And do you want to talk about the format of a mastermind, like how I'd run that? So, well, even matter, what do you find to be the. I mean, yeah, we can talk format, but I, really, what is it and, and what, what things have to happen for it to be successful? Well, I, I think like any business meeting, you want people that are going to respect your time. I think that you want people that are going to follow through on the commitment, that are going to show up every week or every other week or every month, whenever it is that you're meeting. I want people in my mastermind that are going to listen to me. And I want people in my mastermind that are also going to talk and contribute. I've been in masterminds. We had a guy one time in a group that I was in, and or we were looking at him, I should say. We didn't actually allow this guy in. He was making about $20 million a year. And when the guys in my group heard that he was interested in getting involved with this, they were very excited. Oh, man, we can get him in. We can get him in. Here's the problem, though. He's on the road all the time, he's out making all this money, and he might be able to make like maybe every every third meeting. I said, well, no way, because we want people that are going to show up. We want to grow together. And it doesn't matter how great the people are if they're not showing up, if they're not going to contribute. And I, I think that would probably be the first thing. Look for people that are committed to it. They don't have to be the best guitarist in the room, the best businessman in the room, for example. But they've got to have that willingness, that burning desire to be better, and that's really what Mastermind is about. It's a growth organization. It's you being better. That's what it will end up as. If, if you do the plan, you follow the work, you show up, you participate, and you listen. I love that. I absolutely love that. Let me, um, let's talk about this. I, I've heard you talk about, you know, you have three simple steps to turning on instant wealth. And I know that anybody who's listening to my podcast is going to be interested at some level on, on turning on instant wealth. So what are your specific three steps? Okay, well, I wrote a book on this, actually, and if you like what I have to say, I'm going to give you the three steps now. The book is called The Rich Switch, and that's available at Amazon. It's available on Audible, wherever books are sold, iTunes. But The Rich Switch is the book. And the first thing is getting really clear on what it is that you want. You have to know where it is that you want to go. If you're in Los Angeles, you want to get to New York, well... You've got to have that destination. You're not going to just get wherever it is without knowing where you want to go, if that makes sense. And you can do that by making a list. What I like to do is I do what I call a 10-goal list. I've gotten really clear on my 10 big goals, and every day write those down. Then write down three things that I'm doing to attain each of them. So, for example, let's say my goal is to make $1,000 a week or $10,000 a week or $100,000 a week, a monetary goal. I would say, well, today I'm going to get on the real deal. I'm going to talk to Jason. I'm going to promote my business. I'm going to share some value and show people that I've got something to contribute. I'm going to do some billable hours that I can actually get direct money for. And I'm going to invest some of that money in an investment where I can get 8% back. Three steps that I'm doing today that would allow me to make that. It's a long-term strategy. So I've got 10 of those goals. And then I write down three different things. That would be the first thing. Okay. The second thing is, and this is something that is counterintuitive, but I believe in, this is why I'm going to go woo-woo on you, Jason. Cool. I believe in the, the energy of money. Money is just paper. We make it what it is by saying this has worth. But bottom line is there's, Let's say it's a $1 bill and a $100 bill. It's more or less the same piece of paper, more or less the same ink. But if you drop a $100 bill, you're going to treat it a little bit more differently than a $1 bill, right? Correct. So what I believe in 
money as far as it comes with energy is that if you hold on to something too tightly, you're going to choke the energy out of it. It's like choking the life out of something. You have to hold on loosely, as the band 38 Special saying. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back to the music business. And I believe if you're going to have money coming in, you've got to have money going out. I believe in doing this through hiring people. I believe in doing this through charity donations. If you look at any kind of religious text, whether it be the Bible or other texts, they talk about tithing. And there's a reason for that. It's, it's the energy of money. So I believe that not only should you take money, you also have to give money. You can do that whatever way you feel comfortable with. I'm not saying this is any kind of a, a religious philosophy or that kind of thing. But there's a reason that people do it, and there's a reason so many people have been doing it for a long time. And then the third is that mastermind group, that you need to hang out with like-minded people, and you need to have those people going in the same direction that you are, because that's how you get better. They say steel sharpens steel, and sometimes you do have to get beat up a little bit. Sometimes you have to be that weakest guy in the room. But speaking of steel, if you're going to be like in after-school activities, if you're going to be doing any kind of physical work like in the gym or something you know you break down those muscles and that's how they get stronger totally makes sense totally totally makes sense what's what's the third step well that's it that was three oh. yeah the first thing you need to get clear and the second thing you need to have the free flowing energy that's going to go away and it's going to be able to come back to you the third step being the mastermind there we go uh, you know I, I, I've always felt that you know <laughs> Iron sharpens iron uh, is possibly one of the best best motivators out there. Um, oh my gosh! Well, let's look at the gym analogy. Think about that. You could work at home, work out at home, but think about when you're in a room with guys that are showing you that something can be done. Like, hey, I didn't never knew it was possible to do ten pull ups. Well, now you do. Or they can give you a tip on what to eat or how to lift more efficiently or can give you a spot so you can lift a little bit more than you might have done otherwise? Absolutely. And that's the great thing about a mastermind group, and that's the great thing about hanging out with people and just associating with people like this podcast. Real deal, you're going to listen to all these inspiring people, and they're going to let you know that it can be done. And once it's done, you've heard the analogy of the four-minute mile, right? Mm -hmm. It took people a long time to do that. Roger Whitaker did it, but oh, it was like the next month, four people had done it. And now high school kids do it. Well, and that's with everything. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm a major uh, um, Ninja Warrior fan, and uh, gotta tell you, see, seeing that, you know, couldn't be done, couldn't be done, couldn't be done. The minute it's done, everybody does it. So, yeah. it's uh, it's amazing the the mental obstacles we continue to throw in front of ourselves. Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah. Definitely, definitely, and I think that's what's inspiring about these guys that put their income out online. You can see these bloggers are making money and they just have that open attitude. You say, man, I didn't know that was possible before. But it is. It absolutely is. Tell me this. Um, how can our listeners find out more about you? I know you talked about BigBoldImpact.com. Is that is that the primary place that people can find out info on you? Well, that's the blog. And that's where I write. I'm on there at least two times a week. Okay. Three times a week, I release a podcast, very similar to The Real Deal, and that's called The Red Podcast. It's at redpodcast.com. R-E-D is Real Entrepreneur Development, and we talk about topics of interest to entrepreneurs. I've been doing this self-employed for 20 years, and my co-host has been doing it for about 10, so we've seen a lot, ups and downs, varying types of businesses, and we talk about things like staying power and how to get more sales and how to get more people on your list and how to get return customers and how to get more money for what it is that you're charging. Various things entrepreneurs run into on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, fabulous. So R-E-D-P-O-D-C-A-S-T dot com? Yep, redpodcast.com. Fabulous. Fabulous. Folks, for the, for, for the folks who are, are, are diehard listeners and you know, sit down with a pad of paper or, or a new file for uh, on, their, on their laptop or their their iPad, um, anytime you get a resource like that, it, it behooves you, take an hour, take two hours, invest that time into some of this education. It's only going to pay dividends later. Really, really will. So, all right, bigboldimpact.com and redpodcast.com. All right, I always love, David, to um, 
to end my podcast with one important question, and it's if you could give business owners just one solid piece of advice to either help their business or, more importantly, you know, help them to live a better life, what would that piece of advice be? Well, I get the same piece of advice, and it applies to both those situations, and I've talked a little bit about it when we talked about finding, pod, or finding mastermind members. Just be open. I think we have a tendency as we grow older to shut down. We say, oh, that's not how it's done. It wouldn't work. That'll never work. This is how we've always done it. And I think being open will serve you well. There are better ways to do things than what we are doing now, and you're not going to find that out unless you're open. Fabulous. Fabulous. David, this has been spectacular. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know how busy your schedule is, and it means the world to me that you would take some of your time and share some of your wisdom with us. Jason, thank you. It's been a lot of fun. Fabulous. Folks, that is all the time we've got today. Thanks for tuning in to The Real Deal with Jason Silverman. For more information about private coaching or to see if you'd benefit from one of our mastermind groups, visit me over at www.jasonmsilverman.com. As always, I look forward to helping you achieve the success that you truly deserve. Until next time, let me leave you with this. Get out there and be the real deal. Set a goal, make a plan, work like hell towards it and achieve the success that you truly deserve. Now's the time. Get out there and make it happen. Go get them, folks. This has been Jason Silverman, and I hope you have a spectacular week. You've been listening to The Real Deal with Jason Silverman. To access the great resources mentioned in the show and for information on coaching and mastermind group opportunities with Jason, please visit jasonmsilverman.com.